Goliath is pretending to be David. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, so, and then oh, many. So you mean in the in the Anglo-Saxon papers that came out where these guys are saying the Anglo-Saxon mission, which is really nefarious, right? Uh, so we're we're They're saying always that pretending the, the to be Goliath us. Or pretending to be this little David guy that is right. absolutely innocent and hurt nobody. Exactly. So, exactly. so to speak. I mean, I'm, I, well, you know, I'm sure we've caused enough grief ourselves, yeah. but. Right. Uh, well, you know, do you remember, do you remember, uh, maybe seven or eight years ago? I think there was this after 9-11, uh, there was a, a photograph published of a little, uh, Palestinian boy standing, standing in front of an Israeli tank. Okay. And the Israeli tank had the muzzle of the tank aimed at the little boy, and the little boy was throwing a rock at the tank. Okay, <laughs> so I, I had my artist uh, take that photograph and point an arrow at the little boy, and said, "This is David." <laughs> and the Israeli tank, this is Goliath. Okay, do okay. not believe that the Jews are the Israelites of the Bible. It's a lie. It's a historical lie. It's a 2150-year-old lie. They've been pretending to be Israel ever since they became citizens of Judea, and they began teaching their religion called Judaism, which Jesus Christ thoroughly condemns in Matthew chapter 23. We can back up to that so, if we want to get to that later. So, okay. so the agenda that's being flaunted as an Anglo-Saxon agenda mm-hmm. isn't an Anglo-Saxon agenda at and all. It, can right. we say that that agenda includes using harp to create these things that you're reading about in Matthew Absolutely. 24? Absolutely. You what see, else do we have to look forward to? Go ahead, though. Yeah. Well, more deception. More deception. Remember the very first verse I quoted. Take heed that no man deceive you. So what we have is the, in fact, uh, in the book of Revelation, where the end time beast is released from the bottomless pit. Okay, wow. it's, uh, now we're ta- are we talking about, wow, what is this guy? Well, yeah, tell right. Us, well, I mean, is this a real a, person or what? Well, yeah, but it's, it's primarily the beast system, you know, the international okay. banking mafia uh, okay. controlled by the House of Rothschild. And ever since they were released by Napoleon during the, the Napoleonic Wars, uh, they uh, they – made so much money, so many billions of dollars off the Napoleonic Wars, and Europe was in ruins, not, not, the, not the last time either, because of all this warfare. And uh, the Rothschilds realized that they could make oodles and oodles uh, of, of money by uh, staging wars. And uh, it says that when, the, when that beast was released from the bottomless pit, he would deceive the world for a little season, okay? So the little season is between 1815 when the Rothschild banking house uh, became a European power. and oh, really? The Judgment Day. Yes, exactly. That's exactly right. So we're talking roughly now we're almost approaching 200 years of that little wow. season. It's not, it's not going to be much longer, okay? All right, so let's uh, get back here to uh, – you have a question ahead. or a you- yeah, uh, given given the fact that there's been a bunch of questions here, go ahead and and finish, mm-hmm. and we'll we'll just throw them yeah. right at you when you're done. I'll just do a, a few a few more verses here, yeah. and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Okay, and what we have is uh, well, you could say this is Christian denominationalism, because Christian we have Christian Zionists. And we have anti-Zionist Christians, okay? Uh, we have all these denominations that can't get along and basically have developed their own theology. And uh, how many? 400 denominations of Christianity uh, Catholic, now? And, 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 the, and we have the Catholic Church. Yes, which is another right. evil denomination. They're, they're just about all basically evil because they, uh, what it, they've done is they have denied the old religion and come up with new traditions that uh, basically are designed to increase customers, <laughs> okay? Put more butts in the pew, okay? Right? Okay. And then many false prophets shall arise. John Hagee, for example. Oh, yeah. Okay. Joel Osteen. Uh, okay. uh, you, you just go down the list of all the televangelists. They're all false prophets, every last one of them. And deceive many. 
And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. This is a cold world that we live in. You know, we used to have family love, okay? We used to have community community standards where people loved and respected each other's neighbors. We don't have that anymore. Yeah, help each other out. Mm-hmm. That's right. We don't have that anymore. What we've got is commerce. Commerce uh-huh. has taken the place of community, right? Verse 13. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this okay. gospel of the so, kingdom, one more, shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Okay, so this gospel has been preached in all the world. Okay. The, the Bible has been translated into over 400 languages. And uh, so there's not a nation on the planet that hasn't received the scriptures in one form or another. Okay, so all these prophecies have come true. Okay, so now we're faced with all these calamities coming in. So uh, some of the questions that we've got, and we'll just start. I'm going to go to the top. Okay. And uh, some people, hopefully you'll get to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, where does Europe fall in this prophecy of this stuff in Chapter oh. 24? And uh, what can uh, Europeans expect? <clears throat> well, I'm hoping there won't be another, um, you know, outbreak. Well, I'm expecting World War III without any okay. doubt. Okay. Okay. And that's going to happen. Uh, and I know that Europe, uh, because Europe has already been through two world wars, the European people do not want a third. And they're going to do everything they possibly can to avoid having another war on European territory. Okay. But I'm afraid it's going to spill onto European soil as well. In fact, it already has. Look at the uh, invasion of London, France, Germany by uh, Muslims, okay, by uh, various shades of different color who are murdering white people, uh, raping white people, and uh, basically destroying our our culture. That, That war has already begun. But it's more of a culture war at the moment. And, it, but this culture war is beginning to turn very violent. And so, so if the white people of Europe don't, don't understand what's happening, if they don't understand that this is a war that's being prosecuted against them, they better wake up fast. So, uh, the same, another question is the same thing for America. Is Europe going to happen then? Or, um, is there a difference? Well, yes. The, this, this culture war is planetary wide. It's, it's being staged by the Nephilim. You know, the, I think you call them the reptilians. <laughs> it's yeah. being staged by the Nephilim, the the, the huh. sons and daughters of Satan. Okay, and yeah. uh, what they've done, they've taken control of every society. They all, already control all the economy. They control all the so-called national banks, which are not national banks at all. They're private banks. They're all um, right, division right. of Rothschild Incorporated. Okay. And what the Rothschilds have been doing is they have been financing socialism, they have been financing communism, they have been financing revolution, and they have been financing the importation of non-white immigrants into every white country. Wow. Deliberately to destroy us. That's what they've been doing. Okay, well, we've got us another question, and I'm going to go right through them. Okay. Uh, is the Pope involved with Obama in the end times? And then we had another one that's related to it that was asking... Well, let me ask that, and it's related to the Pope. So answer that one, and I'll give you this one. Okay. Well, the Pope, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the false prophet of the book of Revelation is all false religion. Okay, false religion which denies Christ. And even though the Catholic Church claims to be, uh, you know, following the teachings of Christ, they clearly are not. The Catholic Church has never followed the teachings of Christ. They make up their own religion. They've made up their own religion as they go along. For example, Easter. Easter is actually the worship of the goddess Astarte. Okay. Okay. Easter, Astarte. It's a combination of paganism mixed with uh, Christian symbolism. It was... uh, So they are... Yeah. So the, the arguments from places like Zeitgeist that say that the Christians are actually worshiping, uh, you know, pagans... Uh, yes. really are kind of confused in the fact that you're saying that's not real true Christianity as of a faith. Of course not. Of okay. course not. It, 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 is, it is a false religion. It and, is a false so, religion. And so we have here a question that says, um, what about the uh, Popple uh, Bull papers? I don't know <laughs> if they mean uh, the great encyclicals or what. 
Right, um, right. I, I, 